what's up guys after she reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more uh stargate atlantis this is season two episode oh gosh sorry uh episode um uh, uh, uh 15 um yeah so i'm still a little bit sick so i apologize for any coughing uh the aircon's on because it's hot in here let's get it done we're hoping that these people have something to trade. We are wasting our time. The looks of it, they barely have enough food to feed themselves. And their technology, well, let's just say that this about sums it up, huh? <laughs> Establishing good relations with our neighbors is not just about trade. Right. But do we need to make friends with every primitive agrarian society in the Pegasus galaxy? All right. That's enough. They can't all be planets with cool technology and open-minded women. I don't see why not. Greetings. I am... And open-minded women. Shepard. This is Ronan, Taylor, okay. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but it's harvest time and we must prepare our tribute for the tower. Tower? You must come from a distant land indeed if you have not heard of the tower. I don't know of anyone who is not under its protection. Is this tower close by? I will show you. Is it my imagination or does that look a lot like... The central spire of Atlantis? Yes. Oh, and then it shows it to me. Okay, cool. Yeah, true. Uh, nah, nah. No, I shouldn't be singing. I should only talk when I necessarily need to. How exactly do the people in the tower protect you from the wraith? They have a great weapon capable of annihilating the wraith ships which descend from the sky. What kind of a weapon? Thousands of bright lights rise up from the ground beneath the tower, swarm like the, the ships, chair. and destroy them. Thousands of bright lights. You know this weapon he's talking about? We call them drones. We use them to defend Earth and Atlantis, but we can really use some more. And not only that, these people have working drones. They must also have a ZPM. Eldred said the Wraith have not come in a long time. Perhaps this technology is no longer operational. I'll know more if I can get a little closer, take some reading. Who are these guys? Soldiers from the tower. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Who are you? Lieutenant Colonel John Shepard, who are you? I'm a constable of the Lord Protector's Guard, and this village scum dared to defy me. It's clear we're going to have to make an example. I don't think so. Please, Colonel, it's my fault. You think I'm going to sit here and let you whip an innocent man? You're sorely mistaken. Constable, you may stand down. Oh, uh, this guy played. You are the strangers the who requested an audience. And jumped. Are you not? It's us. The source of all evil. My name is Elther. I have the honor to be Chamberlain to the Lord Protector. And you would never be allowed in his presence so armed. Well, <laughs> guess we'll have to be on our way then. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Take this one. Because he's got the ancient name. Please, Colonel, don't resist. The Lord Protector sees all. He does, you know. But I suppose you're going to need a demonstration. And here it comes. Now please, turn over your weapons. Some of the people here may not survive the next strike. I feel like they're always getting disarmed. We are not supposed to be here. If the soldiers come... Relax! I'm almost done. Rodney, come in. Go ahead. We have a problem. They took Colonel Shepard. Why, you let them? We didn't exactly have much of a choice. All right, I'm on my way back. It was definitely a drone. That was pretty good shooting. I mean, if it was their intention to scare people and not actually kill anybody. This is Shepard. Anyone reading me? Colonel, are you all right? Fine. Is McKay with you? I'm here. Did you find anything with your scans? As a matter of fact, I did. There's definitely an active ZPM, but it's barely registering, so it's hard to say whether it's uh, depleted or just not drawing much power right now. The really interesting part is that it seems to be coming from underground. Now, when I realized that, I started scanning for subterranean structures. The tower is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a massive structure buried beneath it. Now, it's hard to say without more detailed analysis, but it could very well be comparable in size to Atlantis itself. Doesn't really surprise me. Considering it looks exactly right like it. And, uh, I gotta say, it does kind of look familiar. <laughs> they really decorated the set, didn't they? <laughs> Why is it always an old white man? Just say. You there, Roach. Lieutenant Colonel John Shepard. I know who you are. I saw you in the village. 
You did. I see all that I need to see within my domain. Your friends, they are concerned about you. Be perfectly honest. I'm a little concerned about me, too. Show of force was necessary for the benefit of the villagers. It keeps them from getting ideas. But for the moment, I would prefer if you thought of yourself as a guest. <clears throat> Father, you must object. This man should be punished. He challenged one of our constables. One of our constables? Forgive me. One of your constables. Lieutenant Colonel, it would be my pleasure that you dine with us this evening. We are happy you could share our evening meal. The pleasure is ours. Man, whenever they, like, give out bread at the beginning of meals in TV and movies, it always makes me we want bread. We thank the ancestors for the great bounty bestowed upon us, and we ask that they bless the Lord Protector, that he may ever watch over us and keep us safe. Please, enjoy. It is generous of you to remember the Lord Protector in your prayers, especially after what happened this afternoon. It is unfortunate, but the soldiers serve the tower. <clears throat> And without the tower, we are vulnerable to the wraith. In exchange, you give them a portion of your crops? Half of every harvest. Half. They're definitely eating well. I've never known anyone called Lieutenant Colonel before. Not his name, you simpleton. His rank. My apologies. That's all right. I usually stand on ceremony anyway. How about you just call me John? <laughs> all right, John. It's obvious to anyone with eyes to see that you're a military man. Which makes me wonder, why is it you question the actions of my father's soldiers? Do you not agree that discipline is necessary? I guess I just don't think whipping people is a good motivator. <laughs> the villagers are mindless brutes. They understand nothing else. Maybe because they've never known anything else. I don't think that any of us would deny it to the light because it's going to be difficult. How much worse would it be if they fell victim to the rain? You protect them with these, uh... Lights, like the one near the village today? Of course. Where do they come from? The Lord Protector calls them forth with his mind. But from where? I mean, they rise up from the ground, but has anybody bothered to go down there and check it out? You mean the catacombs? No, yeah, whatever you call them. They're dark and filthy. Why would anyone want to go down there? My lord, nothing. Give me be. Take him to his chambers. What's wrong with him? He'll be all right. It isn't the first time this has happened. OK. <laughs> Am I disturbing you? Mara, no. Uh, how's your father? He's resting. Thank you for your concern. Uh, look, maybe it'd be best if I just uh, came back another day. No, you can't leave. There's a matter of great importance my father wishes to discuss with you. Perhaps in the morning. If these chambers are not to your liking... No, no, they're fine. <laughs> well, then maybe there's something I can do to make you more comfortable. Well, I don't think so. Thinks she wants your dick. Are you certain? Oh, wow. I never see this coming. You don't find me pleasing. No, no, it's it's not that. It's just... <sighs> what you said at dinner, did you mean it? Absolutely. What did I say again? About the villagers. My brother thinks it's a sign of weakness, but I know that it means you'll be a great ruler someday. Right. Ruler? What are you talking about? My father has promised that if we are married, the succession will fall to me. I figured that was the case, that, like, it's all about who's taking over. Come in, please. Seems that, uh, certain people around here have somehow, uh, gotten the wrong idea about me. That uh, Mara came to visit me last night? You must forgive her forward behavior, Colonel. She doesn't have much time. What's that supposed to mean? I have many duties here in the tower, the most important of which is as royal genealogist. These scrolls record the bloodlines of the Lord Protector's family going back 20 generations. This is necessary because only one of the royal blood can control the throne chair, which in turn controls the weapon that protects us from the wraith. But I suspect you know some of this already. Most people, when they see the throne chair activated for the first time, react as though they've seen some kind of magic. But you, you didn't bat an eye. What's more, you have in your blood the very gene for which our royal family has been so selectively bred all these generations. I scanned you shortly after we met, remember? 
Right. Over the centuries, despite our best efforts, the bloodlines have deteriorated. The ability of each new Lord Protector to control the throne chair, it is no longer a certainty. Well, then maybe it's time to start thinking about a new system of government. You have observed the inequalities of our society, and you disapprove. I can hardly blame you. So, if the old man dies... Precisely. And his condition grows worse every day. Probably because I know he's someone him. who may be able to help with that. Look, uh, Baldrick, my trusty local guide, says he knows a way into the underground city. He's not exactly thrilled about going under there, but uh, I think I can talk him into it. And what good does that do us? If I can find the ZPN, then we can shut these people down whenever we want. Without the drone chair, they're just a bunch of primitive thugs with axes and knives. Axes and knives can cause damage, Rodney. I do wonder why Taylor doesn't have the synthesized gene. Maybe the thing didn't pick that up? I don't know. Busy as usual, I see. Always making plans. Plotting little strategies. All for the benefit of the royal house, of course. Of course. Of course. I understand you've recruited someone new into your little schemes. This Lieutenant Colonel Shepard. Something about medical assistance for the Lord Protector? He offered. What was I supposed to say? Just be careful, Chamberlain. Remember your place. And remember our arrangement. What about the Colonel? I'll deal with him when the time comes. Sorry, that was uh, not with a lot. I'm not so sure this is wise. Okay, I'm not interested in your primitive taboos, okay? It's a dark and scary place, but it's not cursed or haunted or anything like that. It's perfectly safe. Actually, the catacombs are prone to earthquakes. Oh, they are? Three village children died in a cave-in just last year. I thought it was a superstition thing. Oh, no. The danger is quite real. Jumpers. You know what this is? You tell me. It's a flying machine. Or at least it used to be. It ran out of power a long time ago. I know you have some understanding of these things, even though you try not to show it. I also know that this place was once home to a much more advanced civilization. Unfortunately, aside from a few trinkets and useless relics, all we have left is the throne chair. And if the bloodline continues to deteriorate soon, that will be taken from us as well. What if I told you there was a way around that? A way to protect the planet without worrying about all these royal bloodlines or any of that crap? That's impossible. What if it wasn't? Such talk is dangerous. You can't watch everyone all the time. I know you serve these people, but if you're right, and eventually they lose their ability to control the chair, well, at that point, what good are they? What are you suggesting? Gene therapy. You give it to the people in the village, half of them will be able to control the throne chair, no problem. You're talking about revolution. I'm talking about survival. It's gonna happen when the royal family can't protect this planet anymore. And in exchange for this drug. Colonel Shepard, I've completed my examination of the Lord Protector, and I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for him. He's dying. How much time does he have? It could happen any day now. But there's something else. The reason he's dying is because he's been poisoned. <gasps> no! I, I, I guess it's, it's been done slowly over the last couple of months. Probably in his food. Any idea who'd like to see him dead? Yeah. I have a theory. That it's a demon? A dancing demon? No, something isn't right there. Throne storage! I don't understand. Okay, those brilliant lights that magically rise up into the sky and destroy the ray ships, they're not magic. They're uh, real, physical objects. They're. they're Projectile weapons. Incredibly powerful projectile weapons. Only question is, have you used them all up? I can't see anything. Okay, hold on. There's a working ZPM in here, so it should just be a matter of this. Holy shit. Okay. There are still a few left. Maybe turning on the power wasn't such a good idea. I think you might be right about that. Let's get out of here. No. That's the only way out of this section. There's no need to panic. I'll radio for help. Colonel Shepard, it's McKay. Come in, please. Ronan, Caleb, please respond. Anybody? He's like, I'm stuck again. Two episodes in a row. You call this a harvest? I bring this pathetic tribute to the Lord Protector, and I'll be whipped for my insolence. This is all we could spare. Well, then maybe there's something besides food that you can offer. No! no. 
Hey. You again. Let's see how you do against someone who can defend himself. You have an impudent tongue. I think I'll remove it. You can try. Shepard? Hey. We have a problem in the village. There has been an altercation. You must leave now. Tavius will arrest Mara, and anyone he considers was conspiring with her, and that includes you. What about the villagers? He'll kill them all, burn the place to the ground, and make an example of them. And nothing to do with what happened. It doesn't matter. Any defiance must be crushed without mercy to keep it from spreading to the other villages. Look, this is the gene therapy we're talking about. You can take it to the people and tell them what it means. You don't have to be slaves to this royal bloodline anymore. Well, this may be too late. Tavius will consider this to be treason. He'll fight it. And if the soldiers support him... What's that mean? It means news of the Lord Protector's death is already spreading. The court is being called to assemble in the throne room. Go now. Before it's too late. Looks like the ZPM's almost depleted. What? The ZPM, it's, um... Uh, you know what? I know. Never mind. More importantly, I can't bring internal communications on. <clears throat> so we can't send a message? No, my radio won't work because we're too far underground. It leaves us only one option. You should not have killed the constable. Somebody had to do something. Now more soldiers will come. Then stand up to them. Gather your people together and fight. And if the Lord Protector uses the throne chair, we'll deal with that. It's too late to argue, Eldred. What's done is done. The Lord Protector will take his revenge on all of us. And if we're going to die, I would rather die fighting. John, what are you still doing here? I'm looking all over for you. You have to leave now. I know. I, I want you to come with me. We both know what's going to happen if you stay here. I can find a safe place for you to go. John. Uh, this is your fault. What if it is? You really would take me with you. That won't be necessary. Mara is perfectly safe now. Tavius has been arrested for the murder of the Lord Protector. That's good news. You really should have got out when you had the chance. I'm not shocked. The hell is this? He played a villain in job, so... I was prepared to let you walk away. But your colleagues in the village forced my hand. They're inciting an uprising, and as the new Lord Protector, that is something that I just can't have. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Play the source of all evil. I mean, come on, guys. You've got an evil voice. Like, come on. Wait outside. I'll have your head for this, Chamberlain. You are in no position to make threats. Is it really necessary to insult me further by imprisoning me with these people? We're not the ones who committed murder. True. There is only one murderer in this room. Isn't that right? Oh, though. Well, let me guess. He told you I did it. Do I look like the sort of person who knows anything about poisons and chemicals? Otho, on the other hand, is always making elaborate studies of things. Topics you and I might find boring, but which sometimes can turn out to be quite useful. I really need to stop making house calls. You said these weapons had great destructive power? Yes. Well, what do you intend to do with it? Blow a hole straight up to the surface. What'll happen if you succeed? Well, two possibilities. Either we create a nice, sturdy shaft that will give us some much-needed air and provide a big enough gap for the radio signal to get through, or it will bring the already unsteady ceiling down on us, burying us both alive. I prefer to imagine the first possibility. Oh, yes, yes, the power of positive thinking. Very good. While you do that, I will rely on my experience and expertise. You said you'd never done this before. General, expertise. Will you be quiet while I do this? All right. I can't believe that worked. What happened to positive thinking? I lied. This is McKay. Is anyone reading? Rodney, where have you been? Where have I been? I have been trapped underground by an earthquake that blocked off our one exit from this section of the city. That's where I've been. Do you have access to the ZPM? No, I don't have access to the ZPM. But thank you for your concern, by the way. Rodney. No, 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 no. no. So it's fine. I want to your beloved friend has nearly died. Okay. And your first concern is for the ZPM? It's only natural. I am sorry, Rodney, but we have a few problems of our own. Colonel Shepard and Dr. Beckett are no longer responding to our radio calls. As well, there is a good possibility that the Lord Protector is about to launch a drone attack on this village. If that happens, everyone here will die. Oh. He 
must tell your friends to leave before it's too late. For his first act as Lord Protector, Ortho intends to destroy the entire village using the throne chair so that no other villages will ever rise up against him again. Alrighty, come in. I need you to pull the ZPM and cut the power right away or Ronan and Taylor are dead. Unfortunately, I am cut off from the ZPM. There's gotta be something you can do. I'm working on it. Let's work faster. Be funny if the gene therapy didn't work for him. Because <laughs> it didn't work for everyone. Those fools, they actually think they can stand against me. According to my readings, the ZPM is nearly depleted. If we can activate enough systems simultaneously, it might drain power completely, thus rendering the drones inert. So do it. I can't. I don't have access to enough systems to draw that kind of power. I need something really big. How about the star drive? You want me to fly the city right up out of the ground? No. You don't have to go anywhere. Just charge the engines. That should be the single greatest drain of power you can create. You're right. That could work. This place is pretty unstable. I fire off the engines. The vibrations alone could cause the whole thing to come down on us. There's a risk we're going to have to take. is your doing. Seize them! You're only Lord Protector if you can control the chair. You said it yourself. You don't have to bow down to this man, Octavius, or anyone else. Octavius was right about one thing. I do have a fair knowledge of poison. Get the drones. Got a few jumpers, I even got the girl. You got the girl? <laughs> well, I mean, I could have got the girl, I turned her down. What did you offer them in return for the drones and the jumpers? Supply of medicines and an IDC if they need to reach us. We also offered to help them come up with a new way of running things when the time comes. Good enough, you king? Turn that down too. All right, so we got some drones again. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this, very edit, for example. Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested you can also check out our website which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to but you always wanted to see. Please know pledging is entirely your own choice of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrightio, uh, well that was um, Stargate Atlantis Season 2 Episode 15. Um, interesting that, you know, there was another Atlantis somewhere. Um, I don't know what that actually re really means for, like, the lore. How many Atlantises were there? I don't know. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.